HIIT cardio. What is it? How do you do it? In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys what I prefer to use for my HIIT cardio, HIIT, and the work to rest ratio that I prefer to do that I find is the most successful for myself as well as my clients. My name is Vishant Dave. I am a full-time personal trainer, father of two amazing boys, a husband, and a guy that just loves sushi. In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you guys why I love HIIT cardio, what is HIIT cardio, and what is the preferred piece of equipment that I like to use when performing HIIT cardio along with the work and rest ratio that I use. HIIT cardio, or HIIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. It's a form of cardio that you can do just like low intensity steady state cardio is another form you can do as well. I prefer HIIT cardio for a couple of reasons. The length of time that it takes to perform, the amount of times you'd have to do it in a week, helpful for preserving lean muscle while burning body fat. A lot of people think that they're doing HIIT when they're really not. They could be doing another protocol like Tabata where you're doing something for say 20 seconds and then resting for 10. In my view and how I describe HIIT to my clients is it's all out effort. Usually you're not gonna be able to sustain something for an all out effort, 100% effort for a 30 second duration. Probably it's gonna be more along the lines of 10 to 15 seconds that you can do something all out, whether it's sprinting, ropes, a bike, whatever it may be. After that time, you're gonna start to lose output for what you can do. The thing is with HIIT cardio, you need to give yourself enough time to recover so that the next round you can perform again at 100% effort for that 10 to 15 seconds. If you perform something for 20 seconds but then only rest 10 seconds, there's no way 10 seconds gives you enough recovery time in order for that next round to perform 20 seconds of all out effort. The protocol that I absolutely love now and my clients absolutely love as well is when we do something for 10 seconds on and rest for 60 seconds. That makes every interval that we're doing 70 total seconds. I like to prescribe anywhere from five to eight of these intervals. Again, you're working as hard as you can for 10 seconds but you're giving yourself 60 seconds in order to recover before that next interval. I don't wanna bore you guys with five rounds or six rounds, but I'm gonna show you guys the intensity that you wanna work at to know that you're really doing hit. I'm gonna show you guys two intervals so you guys can see what that looks like. The way to set up the interval protocol I'm speaking of is we're gonna go over to custom. You can pick the amount of intervals you wanna do on this piece of equipment. Let's just say four. I'm gonna hit enter. The work ratio is gonna be 10 seconds on. I'll hit enter. The rest period is gonna be 60 seconds or one minute. From here, all I'm gonna do is press start and get ready to rock and roll. It's counting me down from three seconds. So that was 10 seconds of all out effort. There's no way I can sustain that for 30 seconds. Now it's giving me 60 seconds to allow my heart rate to come back down. You can pedal, you can simply breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. This is gonna allow my heart rate to come back down so that I can push really, really hard on that next interval. The cool thing about this piece of equipment is you're getting a lower body effect from working your legs as well as the upper body, you're training your arms through this movement as well, right? So you're getting upper body and lower body versus a stationary bike. Eight seconds, guys. Three, two, one, go!
That's what it looks like, guys. Again, max effort for that burst of energy of 10 seconds. Give your body enough time to recover. Hit it again for the next interval. That's tough. That's hard. I've recovered a little bit. That was two interval, guys. Just imagine, do you think Hussein Bolt could run for 30 seconds at the pace he does in the 100 meter dash? No, all out sprint and effort. That's when you know you're doing hit. You wanna, I, I envision that there is an alligator, a bear, something trying to get me behind me and I'm trying to get the heck out of there as fast as I can. I found that sweet spot is probably 10 to 15 seconds, resting anywhere between 60, if you go 15 seconds, probably 75 seconds recovery. It may seem like you're recovering for a long time, but trust me, if you're giving all out effort, by the time you're on round number four, five, six, you're gonna need every single second of that recovery. I hope you guys found value in this video of how to perform hit. You could perform hit on a stationary bike, an Airdyne bike like this, this is the Rogue Echo bike. You can do it on battle ropes, you can do it sprinting outdoors. The main thing I want you guys to take away is giving 100% to each interval. Giving it all that you have. If you like the video, if you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and leave me any questions or comments you have about HIT training and the protocol that I use. Until the next video, remember, being strong is a choice.